Today, Detroit City Council is going to be meeting for the first time in 2015. Now, the session comes just weeks after the city emerged from bankruptcy. And 7 Action News reporter Andy Choi is live downtown with a look ahead at this historic meeting. Andy. Hey, good morning. You know, I wish the council could talk about the big Lions win, but sadly that season is over. It is the season now for a new city council. Now, one of the things they're going to talk about is uh, putting up billboards, digital billboards downtown, and uh, you might feel like it's a little more like Times Square here, but before all the glitz and glamour come the brass tacks. And some of the other things that the council will be talking about includes what to do with two abandoned hotels near the Red Wings new arena. Also, how to contribute to reducing crime and blight in the city and pumping funds into those quality of life issues. Of course, there's also the Joe to think about what happens with the riverfront area once Joe Lewis Arena closes in a few years. It's a clean slate in this post bankruptcy era, but council members are hopeful even with these new investments, Detroit's homeowners will still see reductions in property and income taxes. Now, the post bankruptcy plan is expected to generate about $1.7 billion dollars. Now that's the plan on paper. Executing that plan, of course, is a completely different story, but that plan starts with some crucial discussions between city council members, and that discussion starts today with that meeting this morning. Live in Detroit, Andy Choi, 7 Action News.